Well, hello again, guys. We're back out here today. Uh, today we're with Ryan Fitzbadock back yonder. Uh, we're on the North Country Trail over here in Butler County. Uh, just doing about a three and a half, four mile hike in to a shelter. Uh, something unusual for me. Uh, and you can see on my back a little bit. This is the pack today. I have a uh, one of the United States military's uh, ILBE packs. This is my bug out pack. And I wanted to get used to it. So it's loaded down. I'm probably pushing 60 pounds right at the moment, especially with the sleeping bag. But uh, it's a little chilly out right at the moment. Uh, we're looking at about 31 degrees right now breezy so with the wind chill it's going to be colder uh, but, uh, we're going to be doing different tonight we're not going to be hammocking we're going to be on the ground in the bivy sack with a tarp and uh, sleeping pad so be something different so and probably a lawn fire so all right guys uh this little view of the trail here uh blue blaze for the uh, north country trail setup so We'll talk to you more along the way or when we get to the uh, site. Talk. Just moseling across the trail. Everything more or less is dead from the winter. Well, dormant, I don't want to call it dead. Just your neutral grays and browns. They're starting down a grade here. Just gotta remember tomorrow morning what 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 went down has to go back up. So with this heavier pack, that'll definitely remind me. So alrighty. Enough for now. I just crossed over this little walking bridge in one of the many streams that we crossed on the way here and uh, natural springs. They're probably seasonal, so we should be hitting the shelter here pretty directly. On this little creek bottom. Alrighty. We're at the shelter. I'll be sure to show it more later. Got a fire going in the fire pit. Plenty of wood around here. <clears throat> this is the hemlock shelter. Uh, there's another shelter up there. And actually a uh, outhouse over there. So got everything set up. We're just going to be lazy tonight. Not set up tarps and stuff since there's still a lot of moisture on the ground. Uh, got the uh, bivy bag and sleeping bag and mat all ready to roll for tonight. There's my L. ILBE pack from the United States Marine Corps I mentioned about and Ryan's over there with his bivy bag and that and he's trying out the stuff he'll be taking with him on the Appalachian Trail up uh, in June so he's going to do some more hiking down there so now we're going to relax for a while and I'll be back with you after a bit alright guys here's the hemlock shelter Doc's there getting ready to give himself a selfie <clears throat> fire's dying down I gotta stoke it some of the wood probably laying there has got a little bit of frost still on it, but we'll get her managed here. It's still early. So, but, and let's see if I can spin the camera. Oops. Over this way. Try to zoom in. And like I was saying, if you can see that shelter right there, that's the privy. So, alrighty. Enough for now. All right. This for now is my bug out cook kit, which is probably going to change. I'm going to have both an alcohol stove in here and one of my wood gas stoves, and I think a bigger pot. This is what I threw in it for now, my minimalist. So.
<clears throat> well, I'm going to hush for a while and let Ryan do his big video here. Alright, I have one of my original alcohol stoves here. My cat tan stove I made myself. Oh, years ago, probably a good 10 years ago. And that's what I'm going to use to heat up my water. Now, the main reason I was thinking to go the alcohol stove route as a bug out bag was I want to keep my, my signature down. You can see probably around me you see smoke and ash and everything floating around. Yeah, I can dig a uh, Dakota fire pit, but just for a quick meal on the go, it's the last thing I want to have to do. So I'm doing this, but I'm probably going to go with my wood gas stove since it'll keep a lower uh, profile uh, signature and the fact that it burns the wood gases. So. Okay, what did I bring today? This is, I made this a couple weeks ago at home. I had leftovers. It is uh, chicken and biscuits. And we're just going to see what it does on the rehydrated end of things. I brought other food with me for later, especially if I don't care for how this turns out. So. And two, with this smaller pot that's on the uh, stove here, it I need more than just that pot to do multiple chores. So if I'm drinking coffee or whatever. I think it's still there. Eliminate that for now. And I gotta come up with a different method than just this. This is not going to last very long so I might invest into a titanium set just for this or uh, just a light lunamin set from the kitchen or something nothing fancy so we'll see Doc's over there getting ready to bake bread so I'm gonna go ahead and close this for now and I'll see you in a little bit once lunch is made. Water is just about to a boil here. Actually it is in a rolling boil. Just a little bit of water left in there. I mean water. Alcohol. Just trying to put enough water in right now to just cover it so it doesn't get soupy. And I want chicken and biscuits, not chicken noodle soup out of this, so keep that water warm. But I'll use it. I'll throw in a packet of coffee and have some coffee but right now. Lid on. Cover it. Keep it out of the wind. And give it about 20 minutes to rehydrate roughly. We'll check it in 10 and another 10 after that. This trip today, guys, is real is not a very long trek, but it's only the trip was like two mile two miles to get in here. Felt a little might have been a little bit longer than that, but uh, it only took us an hour to get back here, so probably two miles. Uh, the main goal of this trip was to get out and test this other deer 
and I'm already seeing some things I need to change. Like this is not going to be adequate for my, my needs are. I might keep this in here but add to it uh, maybe something like one of those Stanley pots or something like that. Something's a little bit larger. So I can do two things at once and I'll have the wood gas stove alone as a supplement. Uh, not, I thought of getting an esbit, but esbit uh, it takes a lot of esbits to just to bring a, enough water to a boil. So, uh, no, I think you're going to run into problems with the wood gas stove because if the wood's wet, of course. So, that's why you try to keep just enough in your sack with you so you have enough to get the fire started and add some stuff around it to keep it going. So, all right, enough yapping for now. Talk to you later. All right, guys. This is my chicken and dumplings. <laughs> you probably should uh, dehydrate a little bit more, but I need something warm on my belly. Doesn't taste too bad. So, well, I'm gonna let Fitz, my doc, finish up his video, and I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Talk to you later. All right, guys. Had to put the old buff on and the wristies. It's a little chilly. We had our dinner and had fuel to the fire and just relaxing here. A couple came up to the uh, shelter above us. So, come to find out, just so you guys know for future reference, you're supposed to reserve these things. Uh, wasn't aware of that, now we're aware. Uh, wasn't expecting to see anyone out here on a Sunday anyhow for staying at the shelter so I don't even know if they're staying they might just be hanging out so but uh, whoever wants to come out here to the shelters at behind uh, at Marine State Park along the uh, North Country Trail uh, look on the web page and uh, you'll have to reserve the uh, the shelters but uh, we're here now. If somebody's come and said we can't be at the shelters, that's fine. We got backups. We can hit the ground. So, so no big deal. But uh, we're just going to sit back here, relax a little while, and stay warm. It's nice and warm down here in the shelter itself. So, uh, out of the wind. So. Alrighty, guys. Nothing happened for today. If smoke would stay out of my face, it wouldn't be so bad up here. Good day. Get down a little bit more, but we're comfortable with the fire and what garb we're wearing, so I think we'll just relax for the night. And unless we get attacked by a bear or something tonight, that'll be enough till tomorrow morning when it's time for making a cup of coffee. So we'll see you then. Now that's a fire. Morning guys. Just sitting here waiting for the coffee to water to come to a boil. Alcohol's running <coughs> a little cold this morning. Slept good. I than half to get up and take care of nature a couple times, but uh, that's the way it always is. So I had a couple wishes getting the damn I alcohol lit and I had to tip it a little bit to try to get it to light and didn't realize some of it spilled on the plate so I had a little fire action but that didn't didn't last for about a couple seconds. Water's just about to where I need to have it and we'll be sipping on some coffee and getting our stuff together and getting out of here in a little bit so uh, alrighty unless something really spectacular happens along the way guys I want to thank you always for watching the PA Wisdom's channel.
thank for it's my doctor coming along. Like always, folks, God bless.